What's going on? You guys have to let me know if you hear me. This is kind of just a test. I don't even know if this is going to work. Can you hear me? You can. All right. So I'm in a machine, as you can see. All right. Well, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> the camera zooms in and out on the windshield wiper. I might just turn this around and just sit here for a while and say what's up to everybody. Make a little adjustment here. What's going on, Michael? All right, so somebody said they could hear me. So we're going to go mess around with the snow for a little bit. I'll talk to you guys. The camera is right in front of me. It may be too loud for you guys to uh, hear me once I turn this machine up. And like I said, this is just a test. If it doesn't work, if it's just too loud for you, I'll, I'll shut the machine off and just say hi. I'll turn the camera around to say what's up for a few minutes. But we did get a storm today, or I should say we're getting a storm today. All right, let me know if this is too loud for you. Is that blowing out your headphones or your phone? Let me know. It may be. It's too loud. It's good. No, it's good. All right, I'm getting kind of mixed, mixed signals. So right now what we got is... Uh, we got an ice storm going on, and we're right on the northern edge, so we're getting ice pellets and some snow mixed in. It's just really ugly out here. I know you guys up in Minnesota getting nailed with like two feet of snow. Some parts of Wisconsin just north of here are getting a foot of snow as well. So I'm getting chatter for some reason. Nothing here by Madison? That's incredible. Stay safe. The roads are really bad. Schools were canceled today here in southeastern Wisconsin. A lot of businesses shut down as well. Yeah, Minnesota got crushed. I'm surprised you guys aren't getting blown off by the sound of the machine. I got a little earpiece in that might be helping. I just thought I'd, I'd do a test because maybe we could do this in the summer once in a while on a job or whatever, too. Minneapolis is not getting much right now. That's surprising. Machine's pretty quiet. That's cool. So it's working pretty good. I'll try to keep this windshield here. Snow, if you can tell, it's extremely heavy. It's very, very saturated. That's surprising you guys aren't getting blown out because it's loud for me in here. I see that my plow is my plow is chattering again so I think the rubber edges on the wings are starting to catch so I'm gonna have to deal with that before the next storm it's raining in Chicago thank you John that's awesome appreciate that yeah so like Racine and Kenosha just south of here they're getting hammered with ice which we were supposed to get but so far it's just been like ice pellets and snow mixed in. We haven't had any freezing rain, which I'm very glad for. They said on the uh, on the local news this morning and last night that this could be the worst ice storm that Wisconsin has seen in 50 years or more. 70 degrees in Pennsylvania? you got to be kidding me. Power's out in New Berlin? Yeah. Those lines down six to ten in New Hampshire tonight. 
it's kind of tricky to plow and talk to you guys and read at the same time, but I'll be careful, I promise. So I'm actually plowing at my church right now. Thank you, Waterman. I'm plowing at my church right now. They have a service tonight. So this parking lot is going to get filled up, and it's going to be a real pain. I, somebody just gave. I appreciate that. Fisher, thank you. Winnipeg, Canada, our neighbors to the north. I'm going to try to keep this windshield cleaner. Yeah, it's just a sloppy mess over here. 84 degrees in Florida. Haha. -ha. I like the snow. I like snow until March. And once March hits, I'm ready to start pouring concrete again, to be honest. Uh, where's Bugs? Bugs will be coming in tonight. I don't really need him right now. It's pretty early. I'm just going to push everything, kind of give it one, give it a once over, and then uh, I'll be back several times. This is supposed to last all the way through tomorrow and into tomorrow night, believe it or not. I got to kind of be careful because there's people walking in the parking lot at times as well. Like that guy there. One thing I like about these snow wolves with the wings, it kind of contains the snow somewhat. So you can move snow from one end to the other. What's up, Mel, Brian? I see you commenting all the time. Grub Mud, what's up? 64 in Indy. I was thinking about you uh, yesterday. I was working on my power buggy. I saw you got a, a good deal on your used power buggy. I watched your video. That's pretty cool, man. Nice step up, for sure. Daryl Jr., yeah, I miss Daryl Jr. too. I still talk to him almost every day. He still sends me stuff to buy. So we're still in contact. We're good. Easy money. What's up, Racine? I heard Racine. Actually, I just got a call from Kenosha. Uh, about an hour ago, and they said it was really icy. The guy was there doing snow removal. So far, we're pretty lucky here. What's going on, Eric? Do some more residential? Yeah, I do some residential. It's not actually residential. Well, yes and no. So all the residential that I do, they all belong to commercial. So I do a con. Condo Association, there's like 30, 30 or 32 driveways in there. And then I do a couple commercial buildings and then some residential driveways too, but they're owned by a commercial building. Or a commercial client, I should say. So no biggie. It's a lot of driveways, but honestly with the skid steer, just how maneuverable it is, it goes really fast. And none of the driveways are huge. See, I'm not going in between the cars right now. This is not anywhere near a final cleanup. Not trying to get things perfect. If you're outside right now, it's not pleasant. They're like little hard ice pellets. Where's Daryl? Oh, you'll have to go back in the videos and figure that out. Remember to film a lot now so you get snow videos. Yeah, you know, snow videos are okay. Like if something, you know, out of the ordinary happens. But I just put a snow video out this morning. And if I put other snow videos out, we're all going to be very similar. You know, there's, it's kind of redundant. I know some people love snow pond. They could watch it all day. I hear the comments. But, I mean, to me, it's just kind of the same thing over and over. So... This one, I thought we were going to have tons of ice, but so far, we're lucky. Yeah, I haven't gone live for a long time. Somebody just said, mentioned something about me being live. I haven't been live for a long time. I just thought I'd say, what's up, you guys? And then uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and say hi. 
Ricky, what's going on? I'm going to turn this around and say what's up. How's everybody doing? I have time. I'm not in a big rush right now, so I'll say hi to everybody. So I have an idea. You guys have to let me know what you think. So I'm coming up on 300,000 subscribers. And uh, for the first 200, each time we hit that 100, I did something special for my men, my guys. Uh, this time around, I think I'm going to do something special for you. So <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It's going to be some kind of giveaway. Um, I was thinking that you guys probably would like cash <laughs> and uh, some tools. So I was thinking about doing like five different giveaways, you know, five, maybe three, three with cash and then a couple sets of like really cool Milwaukee tools impacts or something like that. So that's going to be coming up. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it yet. The last time I did a giveaway, I messed it up. And uh, I made one guy really mad at me, and it was my fault. So I got to be more careful how I do a giveaway this time. Um, I did it through the comment section, and somebody went back and edited their comment. <clears throat> so they put a comment out right away. And then they watched it, and then they came back and edited it. And I gave them a prize because I didn't specify. And the guy that should have won, he was really mad at me. I told him I'd give him half, but he was so mad, he just said, forget it. So I'm going to be careful. We want some salt. I do have salt. My truck's right over there, all full of salt. Can come lay some concrete for me in the UK at 300. Yeah, right. Hats. Yep. So um, I, I do have new stuff being made. I have new hats being made, some really cool stuff. I actually have a new logo and I have a new website being built. So I've been working on some stuff, you know trying to make progress. I'm looking for a building, uh, slowly looking for a building. It just scares me to death because I run my business debt free. I don't have an, I don't have payments on the trucks and everything I buy, I try to buy outright. So I have, I shouldn't say I'm completely debt free. I have very little payments every month, but if I buy a building that scares me because those are big payments, big money. And then you're like under the pressure again, but I think I'm going to do it in the next year for sure. It just makes me a little, gives me some anxiety, I guess you could say. Shaka, thank you very much. Kurt, thank you very much from Muskego. Jada Orange Victory, yeah, I should get Jade something. Jade is such a cool dog. Jade's wild, man. She drives me nuts on the job sites. I'll be completely transparent, like she's jumping on my legs, and uh, she drives me nuts. But she is such a sweet dog. Like when she comes salting with me, the last couple of times, she just keeps you company. She'll lick your hand. She's a pit bull. I mean, she could tear your hand off if she wanted to, but she just she's not vicious or angry at all. She's a great dog. <clears throat> Risk brings reward. Yeah, I know, man. In the back of my mind, I'm like, if I own, I know I rent a shop, but you're really limited what you can do in a rented shop. You know, if you want to make major improvements, that's out of the question. You can't really put money into it. I mean, even, even that graffiti I did, that was a thousand dollars that I'll never get back. It's worth it to me because it's really cool. Um, but you know, if you have a building, like my wheels are turning, like I could do this and I could do that. A lot of plans, dreams and stuff, but it would be pretty cool. Thank you, Ricky. Appreciate that. Dalen, Darylin, Dalen. So, uh, would you ever get a hydraulic wing, wing plow, Vernig? So Vernig makes them. Um, I forgot the other many. There's there's a few manufacturers that make the hydraulic wing plows. You know, the Western Whiteout, obviously the truck plow. <clears throat> the only thing that scares me is if I'm not running it, if I let a guy run it, they could damage the wing. It gets really expensive. Um, but I don't have a problem with them. I think it's a great idea. The Vernigs look like they're built like tanks. I've never used them, but I've seen them and they look, they look solid for sure. Uh, will I ever say what Daryl did exactly? It's, it's really nobody's business. Honestly, I'm, I'm over it. Somebody said, well, you're making a storyline out of it. Like I'm not making a storyline out of it. The story is over. You know, he's gone. It's been like almost six weeks. It's done with it. Uh, Byron, thank you very much. How hard is it to start a concrete business? It's much harder than starting a landscape business. Getting into landscaping is very inexpensive. Uh, you know, trailer, you can pull it with a very light vehicle, a light pickup truck, push mower. Uh, concrete work is a little bit more involved because you need more equipment and more tools for sure. <clears throat> uh, let's see, bring junior bring junior back. I mean, I would love to bring junior in once in a while, but that's, that's totally up to him. I don't know that he would be comfortable with that. He's a great kid. I have nothing bad to say about him. 
Um, and these are higher Tino full time. So if you watch, did I mention in the video? I'm going to start this back up, you guys, because my windshield is fogging up. Again, we're going to get some noise, but I don't want to lose my visibility when I start to plow here again. There we go. All right, I forgot what I just said, so we'll take some more questions. Belgium, it's 10 p.m. over here. Canada, what's going on, Joe? Tino, that's right, thank you. Tino, I talked to the other day, and Tino is hired. Tino's part of the team this year. I hired him full-time. You know, towards the end, last half of this past year, he was kind of part-time. Um, but now he's full-time. He's going to be a full-time employee. We already talked, sat down, so he's good to go. Uh, I may have a full team, so I'll tell you, I met with a guy last night, a CDL driver, um, and it looks like he's probably going to join the team. He's a good guy. He's local. So if if he comes on board, I'm all set. I have a full team. Now all I have to do is concentrate on sales. What's going on, Blake and Dylan? My wife from Ukraine. Pricing snow removal. So, actually, I'm going to start plowing. I'm going to turn this camera around again. Guy's going to trip here, right there, as you can see. So, I'm going to tell you how I got into snow removal and how I priced snow removal when I didn't know anything about it. So you got to get some kind of idea of what everybody else is charging. So you just start asking some questions and you try to find, you can figure it out. You can figure out what other guys are charging. Just use all your connections, start talking to the right people. And then uh, I have a friend, he was big in the snow plowing. And uh, I just paid him. I said, hey, can you check this out? Let me know what you would charge. There's nothing wrong with that. You got to learn, you know. And then, uh, you know, you rate your bid, go through a season and see how it went for you. And if you, you know, if you lost money, hopefully you didn't lose money. But if you didn't make as much money as you wanted, the next year you charge more. You learn and grow. It's pretty simple. Mike is choppy. Yeah, I have a little headset on. I apologize. Plus, I'm turning my head. The machine is loud. I knew it would probably be a problem, honestly, but I thought I'd give it a rip. I haven't gone live in a while. I'll stop periodically and just talk to you guys. What's up, Jake? Oh, now somebody said the sound is terrific. Mr. Bobby! So, Mr. Bobby is out of the care facility. Um, I don't know his living arrangement right now. I'm not sure. He's not living in his camper. He doesn't even own that camper anymore. Thank you. Is Mike coming back? Um, hopefully not. You might ask why I would say hopefully not. You know, the whole idea for Mike when I sold him the landscape business is for him to work full time for, for himself. And last year, you know, he had a couple days a week where uh, he needed to fill in, so he would come in and drive for us. But he's going to do the home show. I turned him on to the same home show that I do, and he's got a booth this year. And if he plays his cards right, he should easily be able to keep himself really, really busy this year. So that's why I say hopefully not. I'm hoping to... If you're on the live, if you could refrain from calling me or texting me or messaging me, I would really appreciate that because I'm using my phone as a camera. This snow is very, very heavy. It's very sloppy. Yeah, Mike's a great guy. Of course, I would love to have him around, but 
I don't want to keep guys around forever. If they have, if they have bigger goals and, and dreams and all that, I say go for it. Just like Eric, you know. I don't want to keep guys See, some of you guys are giving some donations. I apologize. I can't constantly watch the screen, obviously. I don't feel like busted into this car or anything right now. I'm kind of pulling slot because I'm looking around, looking at the camera and all that. So if you think I don't know what I'm doing, that's okay. That's the reason why. The new employee will not sleep in the job. I made that really clear to him, and he really has no desire to sleep on the job. He said he's a he said he's a go getter. Of course, everybody says that until you get on the job. But he seemed like a really straightforward guy, straight shooter. Francisco, yeah, yeah, Francisco's coming back. Yeah, Francisco, Eric, Barb's. We got the same team as last year, Tino. Um, but Mike, obviously, hopefully, hopefully we won't see Mike, and then, you know, Daryl, obviously. Pretty much going to be most of the same guys. I don't have a lot of work lined up right now, but I'm getting a lot of leads coming in, so I'm not really worried about it. I have a really good feeling about this year, and there's a car coming around the outside where I just put a big pile of snow. Uh, I think he can fit. Yeah, I left the room. He made it. Easy money. Yeah, unfortunately, this is going to be a really long duration spell. So I'm going to be out here for like forever and ever. Doing the same thing over and over like three or four times probably. Thank you, Greg Bud. I'm happy for you too, man. You're making making moves, taking steps in the right direction. Why are you so lazy? Tell me the truth. Hey, you can't use that. That's my line. get this pile. This stuff is heavy. Man. That's a lot of weight up there right now. Where's Bugs? He'll be coming in later. I don't really need him right now. And he lives way north of here. He lives like almost 40, 45 minutes away. So I don't, I don't try, I try not to bring him in until I really, really need him for like the final Yeah, all you guys are like, uh, uh, give away. <laughs> Let me know where all the warm spots are where you live. It's 70, it's 80 degrees. Well, as you can see, it's not 80 here. I can't complain. I really can't. It's, it's been a pretty mild winter. Normally, like on the edges of these parking lots, there's big mountains of snow. The kids sled down them every year. and I mean, this is like nothing. So I can't complain. Yeah, Bugs is committed. He just has character, you know what I mean? It's like a, it's a different generation. He grew up on a farm, so when you grow up on a farm, character is taught to you because you have chores, parents normally would expect kids to work and work hard. So, you know, it's just, it's born in, it's it's part of you, you know what I mean? That's what character is. I don't, I don't have to be in parts like, hey, better show up on time tomorrow. It's just not necessary because I already know who he is. That's how it should be. It's getting hot in here. Ooh, this heater will blast you out of this machine. Oh, the tire machine is far better than a track machine. Tire
other machines get a lot more traction. So there's different types of treads you can get for tracks. You can get the block tracks like my T320 has, which are absolutely horrible in the snow. And then my new Holland has a better tread design, but it still won't be as good as tires. And this machine I'm in is an, is an S750 Bobcat, and it has the 22 and a half inch semi tires. So you get a little bit more speed, you get good traction. To me, this is like the ultimate plowing machine for our like medium sized parking lots. Big parking lots, wheel loaders obviously will smoke a speed steer, but when you have a lot of obstacles, it's a different story. How's your mom? She's doing good. Just so. Uh, concrete season started in about seven and a half weeks. I just signed a big driveway. Well, I didn't sign it, but I know they are going to sign. Um, I think it was Thursday. Yeah, I know people are spamming the comments. People are bored, they got nothing better to do. I can't change the settings right now, I'm busy, I don't really care. If you're not bored, then that's all you got to do. I feel kind of sorry for you, so just go ahead and enjoy yourself. Spam away. prices this year uh, probably about a hundred and a half is what I'm guessing that they're going to be I haven't got my letter for increase yet but it's coming it is definitely coming I think we are going to have a good season hang on a second Where'd you go? Honk the horn. There you go. Alright. Uh, I'm blocking that guy. Because he was really irritating me. <laughs> Alright, he's gone. The guy was asking me about the hats. Give it a res, dude. All right, so that's really all I have left of the back parking lot here. And then we're going to move on and do a bunch of driveways. 14 inches of snow in Minnesota. I know you guys got hammered. I'm glad we're not getting that much snow, honestly. It gets to be a lot. What's going on? United Kingdom. You got your yellow lights on. You know what? I do not. Now I do. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I didn't have a box. Yes, I am going to snow later, but not anytime soon. For right now, I'll just be pushing snow and just keep doing rounds of pushing until the end, and I'll salt at the end. Uh, actually, the church here, I'll salt at about 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, because they do have a service tonight. Thank you, Ash. Somebody said I should miss a bit. All right, there we go. I missed a bit. T 
Florida Extreme Pavers, what's going on? This stuff is so heavy. It's like pushing wet concrete, honestly. It's, it's heavy. One more honk. There you go. Will you be my business mentor? No. I'm not gonna do like I'm not gonna do like coaching or self classes or I think I'm I'll just give you my honest opinion. Most of the guys that offer those classes and courses and you know, universities on how to do business and start a business. My opinion is you're wasting your money, man. Those guys are just using that to make money for themselves. Most of those guys don't care if you make it in business or not. They just want your money for the course. All the information they're giving you is basic information. You can find it on your own in a few minutes doing Google searches and, and reading and watching YouTube videos. You're not really getting any secret information by spending your money with those guys. I say stay away from that. I would never do that, you know, run courses and stuff. And I'm not saying they're all bad. Some guys probably want to help people have good intentions, but what I've noticed is most of the guys are just, they're just trying to make a buck. So I'll never do that. I'm never going to do any consulting or anything. It's, come on. I'll tell you, the only thing that's good for, like the classes and all that, is motivation. You know, some people might get motivated by telling, having somebody else tell them how to do things. But I'll be completely honest with you. If you don't have the motivation that it takes to motivate yourself, you're not going to make it in business. So save your money because you ain't going to you ain't going to make it. If you're not self motivated to get yourself up early every day and do everything that needs to be done, just forget about it. Just work for somebody the rest of your life because that's all you're going to be good for. That might sound harsh, but that's the reality. It comes back to the character that I was talking about a little earlier. You got to have character around a business, because when you're the boss, man, nobody's putting pressure on you to get up early. Nobody's putting pressure on you to work hard. You just have to do it because you, you want it. Do a Bob's Uncensored video? No, I don't think so. I think... YouTube would, I think they would ban my channel forever. Although Bugs is probably going to be a lot more chill this year because a guy that roofed him up the most isn't going to be around anymore. So that'll be helpful for sure. How can I donate a thousand dollars? You don't have to donate a thousand dollars. I'm thankful for everybody that donates. You know, it's a great show of appreciation, but I don't ask for people's money. Just find a charity or somebody that really, really needs it, because I really, really don't need it. I'm thinking about ways to give money away, not to get money from other people for no reason. But if you gave money... Honestly, it's, I know a lot of people give to me. It's because they appreciate it. I think people know that I don't really, really need it. They just kind of want to say thank you. So I totally understand that. What's up, Canada? There's a lot of people that watch from Canada. My neighbors to the north. I get, uh, I get calls from Canada. I thought I had an accent. Some of those guys, man, crazy. Uh, are you getting a new dump truck? So, good question. Spin this thing around. I'm going to try to get a new dump truck and replace the tandem axle this year. That's one of my goals. But obviously, financially, I can't just buy anything I want. 
and I don't want to finance a whole bunch of stuff. So it really depends on if I find a shop, because a shop is going to need a substantial down payment. If I don't find a shop, yes, I'll buy a new dump truck. Not a new dump truck. Brand new dump trucks are like three hundred thousand dollars all loaded up. Believe it or not, for a quad axle, three hundred thousand dollars. That's big money right there. My dad starting a YouTube channel. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that are. There's a lot of guys that are starting YouTube channels and TikToks. Concrete related content. It's a little harder now because it's getting more saturated. There's like a million guys on TikTok, you know, showing how to pull for and stuff. And people lose interest over time if that's really all you're showing. There's not something to go along with it. So it's a little harder now, I think, to gain steam on social media. In our niche, as it was just a couple of years ago, like when I started. All right, so this lot is done. Done. So I'm going to go backwards the wrong way down this road. Get this cleaned up. Go right down the curb line, nice and tight. I scrape the edge of my paw just very lightly against the curb face. But not against vehicles. I'm going to stop in just a few minutes after I get this road done. And I'll read some more comments and talk a little bit more. Finish this. I'm gonna do some driveways. I got a bunch of driveways I do. Driveways are where you gotta focus a little more because you're going right up the garage doors all the time. What's up, Missouri? Where's Ryan Jr.? He is at home right now. They canceled college classes today because the body storm. So, Ryan Jr. and my daughter, Autumn, are both at home. They canceled off school. All my kids are home today. It's just the college kids had half a day. They came up early. What's up, New York City? I could use some money. Well, I'm going to do a giveaway. Gotta hope for the best. <laughs> Twin Cities, second part of the storm is starting, yeah. You guys know Stan, genetic dirt monkey. I talked to him last night, and uh, he said he's on a class schedule, so he's up all night sleeping during the day. They had a lot of snow over my hand this winter. He's been busy. What's up, Charles? Hey, thank you very much. That's a hundred bucks. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Uh, did I flew it from the skid steers? I normally do. Uh, you can probably see if you look on the plot right now, the kind of dirty film. That's dirt stuff to flew it from. So I flew it from all the plows, but I didn't do the skid steers this year. I should have, but we have been washing them. If you've been watching the videos, you see me and Eric washing them. All right, this road is done. I'm going to turn this up. Uh, down for a little while and just say hi again. 
I'm going to stay on for a little while. I'm going to be out for a while, so you guys can come and go as you want. I'll say hi. Once in a while, I'll shut her down or idle it down so I can hear myself. Uh, victory decals. You know, I had some, but I ran out. I never had any more made. So, yeah, that would be cool. I like to get a decal guy, a local guy, so I can kind of put them on my website, too. It's a good idea. Uh, Marcel. I talked to Marcel about two weeks ago on the phone, and he sounded like he was doing pretty good. He was looking for his W-2s. They, got, they sent them to his old address, and they sent them back to me, so he came and picked them up. But he seemed like he was doing okay. He looked good. My wife said he looked good. I wasn't home. Maine, you're getting a lot of snow. And the comments are flying pretty fast. Uh, victory tour. Yeah, you know, it just didn't really happen. I'll be going to, you know, I went to Vegas with Eric and Francisco. And I'm going to go to Ohio soon. That's coming up to the Deco Creek show. And then we have another show in Eau Claire, Wisconsin at the Feral show. But I just can't go anywhere. I got too much stuff going on. I have a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. Honestly, if I could find a mechanic right now that wasn't getting enough hours where he was working, I would hire him in a second part-time to just help me with all the projects I got just to get everything ready. It would be a huge help. We'll see if somebody somebody's interested. Got more work on the power buggy coming soon. I worked on it a little bit yesterday. The thing is the hub off. So I got to buy a puller. Thank you, Lee. I appreciate that. The Middle East. Yeah, you know, there's very few people that watch from the Middle East. I don't know how YouTube works and how they send videos out all over the world. I have no idea. Any more snow falling? Yeah, right now it's just like little ice pellets. It's going to be mixed precipitation for the next day and a half. It's going to be nasty. I'm going to be out here a lot. Uh, Francisco, he's working for like a uh, company that does coatings on commercial floors. They do polished concrete. They do like epoxy overlays. So he got a job for the winter months, but he is coming back. <clears throat> Are you still going to do your own tools? That's a long, long process, which I've learned. It's going to be, it's going to be a long time, but yes, that is still in the back of my mind. Yes. What's going on, Idaho? JP's Gaming, how you doing? Are you afraid of the new truck braking? Uh, no, but there's really no need to bring it out. I, I have the F-350, which is running great. If it breaks, I'll go straight to the shop and grab the new truck. I've used it several times, two or three times already for salting. Three times, I think. So, no, I'm not afraid to use it, but why use it if you don't have to? That thing was, the thing was super expensive. <laughs> so we're going to try to keep it nice as long as we can. What's going on? Lima, Ohio. Uh, is Eric? I didn't. I didn't hear that. I didn't. I wasn't able to read that. Eric, something about Eric. Oh, I'm in Wisconsin. I'm in southeastern Wisconsin, uh, Milwaukee, Waukesha border. Ms. Z, she was on the video this morning. Ms. Z's still there. Maybe you meant Jewel. Jewel. Um, she's working. She's doing good. She works just at a different place in the area. What's up, Europe? What time is it over there? I don't know what part of Europe you're from, but I don't know if it's the middle of the night over there or what. Chris Kelly, Daryl, Daryl May. How's Bug's shoulder? Oh, if you're talking about when he fell. Um, I think it's fine. He just sprained it. It was on his, it was on the shoulder he didn't have surgery on, thankfully. Jordan, thank you very much. I got to go back and read that. Uh, Ontario, thank you very, very much. Fantastic. How old is Bugs? He is, I should know this, 65. 65 years old. 12 and a half inches in the UP yesterday. Are you guys hiring? Uh, I mentioned this before, but I think I have a full crew for this year, pretty sure. Ryan Jr. is going to be working with us again. 
uh, once he gets out of school for the summer months. And he's working on getting a CDL. So that was pretty cool. He's going to be able to help drive as well. All right, I'm going to move to the front here. I'm going to turn this around. Push on a bit more snow. Where do we get gravel from? We're kind of lucky here in southeast Wisconsin. There's, there's gravel pits and recycling facilities everywhere. You can get gravel all over the place. There's dumps all over the place. It's pretty easy to do business here, the type of work that we do. I know in some other states, it's, it's a pain. you got to pay a lot of money. Our dumps are cheap. Gravel is not super expensive. We have a lot of limestone quarries around locally. So gravel is cheap and dumping is cheap. And concrete's not as expensive as some other states. I mean, it's not cheap, but... Rivcrete, yeah, Rivcrete's really close. Map Tech Show in Chicago. I'm not familiar with that. I'll look that up, though. And my plow is chattering. As you can see. Thank you, George. Appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, concrete finishers around here. I'm not going to tell you what I pay my guys individually, but uh, you can make like 28 to 35 dollars an hour as a residential finisher. Do you snowmobile, Ryan? Um, I've really only gone like seriously snowmobiling one time in my whole life. I mean, it was a whole weekend. And it was a lot of fun. But you got to have like a group of people or at least a friend to go with. So I would never buy a sled because I just don't have a group of friends that does that. I would. I mean, it would be fun. But then every time you go, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of gear. You got to travel. You got to have the right weather. So it's a little tricky. Auburn Hills, Michigan, what's going on? Hunting? Yes, I love hunting. I wish I had more time to do it. There we go. Do you ski? Uh, yes, I downhill ski. I shouldn't say I downhill ski. I have downhill skied quite a bit in my life. I used to snowboard when I was a teenager. I'm sure I could still downhill ski. But I've gained a lot of weight. I'm a big dude right now, so crashing would be ugly. I mean, it would be funny for people that watched it, but it probably wouldn't be funny for me. Future plans for expanding the business. Um, expanding the concrete business? No. Uh, kind of what you guys see is what you're going to get. I love working on the cruise. I know most business owners, it's like their dream to step away from the cruise and just manage things and grow the business and work on the business and not in the business. Like, I get all that. Like, I've been through all that. But I love working, man. I want to stay out here for the rest of my career. As far as expanding my business that you guys know about, no. Um, if I do start making tools, that's what I would consider expanding my business. Thank you, George. For a new lumpus. Yeah, right. So I'll take the business and then it'll kind of be a separate business. But, like, that's... Those are goals, you know what I mean? I'm not actively working on that right now. But that would be the next step if I do plan on expanding. And Wow, that was a terrible push. I didn't have to fall all the way down. Kind of looking at the screen and falling. So if you're wondering why I look like an amateur, that's why. Uh, the American hats, everything's going to be for sale. End of March, beginning of April. 
that's all in process right now. Yeah, I haven't really looked for a manufacturer yet, but I have a, a lot of really good connections for tool manufacturers. Jeremy, uh, I have a full crew right now, so I'm not hiring, but appreciate the offer. Thank you, Tyler. Auto shop. Uh, well, if I ever get a shop, I'm going to get a shop that's big enough to work on my own stuff. And you guys have heard me talk about this before. Thanks, Herman. Uh, I would love to start, you know, working on building, you know, like street cars, drag cars. Again, just dreams, but you got to dream in some kind of direction, right? What's up, Adam Force? Come to California. I should go one of these years when I go to Las Vegas. I mean, we're right there. It's just we get busy in Las Vegas. Uh, right now, there's worldwide shipping, but there's limited items for sale. I don't push. I don't push my merchandise, but it is on. Uh, there should be a banner if you're watching on your on your desktop. But it's crowdmade.com, and then you can search out Victory Outdoor Services. But that's up to you. If you guys want something, go buy it. I appreciate it, but I'm not pushing that stuff. Uh, diesel tank. So I have a gas station right down, right down this road. So you go here, it's focusing on my finger. So if you go down the road about a half a mile, there's a gas station with diesel. So I don't really need a diesel tank because I just drive right down the block. Get this cleaned up here. Again, I'm doing a little bit of a sloppy job. I'm not getting all the edges or anything. It's not necessary right now because this is only round one. I'll be doing this over and over and over again. No problem. Thanks for watching, Jerry. Appreciate that. Uh, the Mustang right now is in. Somebody somebody just said about the Fab Tech show. It's like metal fabrication. Yeah, that would be awesome because I love that stuff. But uh, back to the Mustang. I put it in storage right now. It was in the shop. You guys know that already. And it was getting really dusty in the shop. And it was kind of like. I was just watching it get dirty and dusty, and I was like, man, I can't let this happen. Even though I like looking at it. So me and Eric took it over to our storage unit so it doesn't get all messed up. Uh, the salt cover, Tony, is holding up really well. No rips or tears, nothing sagging. The only thing I got to secure, there's little skirts on the side. So I need to secure those. They're blowing around and they're getting a little worn out, but that's no big deal. It's like it's an hour of work. Icing here in Michigan. Yeah, man, it's it's a this is a huge storm. Huge storm. Thankfully it's we're not getting the worst of it here, thankfully. Buy a building with an office attached? Yeah, absolutely. If I buy a building, it will 100% have an office. I like to have, I like to have like an open office, like a big area, almost like a lounge. So like the guys can come in there, we can have a TV, we can chill. Yeah, I just caught my plow. They, they did a patch job here. They put cold patch, so I just plowed half of that off. But yeah, that would be awesome to have a have a cook. There's another patch. Have a building uh, with enough room to have a clean area where your chop dust and dirt's not coming into that's walled off. Uh, Blake Frazier. Yes, sir. There's a shout out. Thanks for watching. 
80 degrees right now. You didn't say where you were, or at least I didn't catch it. That does sound nice. It's like 90 degrees in this cab. It is way too hot. I gotta turn the heat back down. Man, I would love to come to Australia. But that would be a major undertaking for me. See, I did a good day. See, she's got a clean walkway. There you go. You guys in Australia, man, I love the guys in Australia. I watch Concrete Ninja. And I just like your guys' attitudes. Plus, it's awesome the way you talk. It's always entertaining. Nine degrees Celsius in Scotland. I don't know what that translates into. New Orleans. My plow is chattering, chattering. Yikes. I got to cut the wings down a little bit, the rubber cutting edges on the wings. I did that when I first bought the plow, but they're sticking out again. That's what's causing the chattering. Rally, North Carolina. Uh, the ground, Tony, the... The ground temperature just needs to be, it's got to be thawed. So when we have frost in the ground, we can't start. Obviously, if you can't shovel the ground, we can't do concrete work. And then another thing is, around here, they put temporary weight limit restrictions on the all the, all the side streets. So you can't really get anywhere with the big truck. And if you get caught going down one of those, with a dump truck, it's thousands of dollars in fines. And they don't usually take those down until the second week of April. So that that is a major restriction for us to begin work. I just talked to a builder, and he was asking if we could do a driveway now. And I was like, uh, no. No? He's like, well, there's not much frost in the ground. And I told him, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not risking that. This bobcat is struggling. Black and orange. Harley Davidson edition. You gotta watch for cars when you're plowing, because cars don't watch for you. There was one time I was plowing, and I just I just swung the bobcat around, and the tail of the bobcat almost smashed into a car. Somebody literally drove right up to the back of my bobcat. I was like, what are you doing, man? Love the American flag. Oh, on the shop wall? Yeah, for sure. I gotta put the machine in low because it's struggling right here. Tornado watches in Kentucky. That's interesting.
I just got, I just literally got here. Uh, I think I lost service, Eric. Nah, I got no audio. Dude, it's bad. There's a, there's a I'm gonna turn, truck. I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah. There's a semi truck. Wait, somebody said the sound is back. Is the sound back? I didn't touch anything. It's just my phone, man. Yeah, it's just Say what's up, Eric. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yes. And there was a bad crash over here. Yeah. Semi, the whole thing, dude. The whole. The hood? Everything flew, dude. Oh, really? Yeah, they had like, they had like a separate. Where was it? Right here, right here. Oh, I saw that. You mean the hood was off? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I was like, dude. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go clean and. Eric's going out plowing right now. Yeah. It's pretty heavy snow. Oh, yeah. I told him, he said he got a different skid steer. I'll see. I told him, I was like, if it's a small one, I'm not going to be. He's got a different skid steer? Yeah, he said he got a different skid steer. Bigger one. Well, I'll see. Cause well, it doesn't matter the power of the skid steer. It's yeah. all about traction. Yeah. What kind of tires it has. Yeah. What if it does? I told him, I, look, these are really heavy. That's why. Yeah, the tires that I have on here are the beasts, 22 and a half. I'm going to show you to lift it up. Yeah. Yeah. You're heading over there right now? Yeah, I'm just I'm heating it up and see how it goes. Yeah. Flying, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. So this is what I'm using to plow with. It's a 10 foot ultra uh, ultra plow, the Snow Wolf, and then I have the wings on it. Thank you, Ghost. Appreciate that. So it makes it like a 12 foot plow, basically. Got the 22 and a half inch tires. Um, I painted this, but it is a it's an S750. It is a 2012, so it's got the Kubota motor. Love this machine. Yep. All right, Eric, I'm getting back in the skis here. It's bad out here, man. Yeah, I'm so, go. All right, good to see you, dude. All right. What's going on? <laughs> Eric actually plows. Huh? All right. I'm going to be out all night, so don't be asking if we're working tomorrow. All right. All right, I'm going to jump back in here because it is windy. It's windy. All right. Let me see what I can do about getting this set back up proper. Dark. Wow. Dan, thank you very much, man. That is super nice of you. I'm going to try to turn my earpiece on. And see if we can get some audio through it again. All right, I got the earpiece on now. Sound is working. All right, cool. We can start to sing back up. We're going to head over to the driveways. I just messed up the code. Hang on a second. I'm going to head over to the driveways now, start messing with those. Pretty good over here for now. Everybody can get around. All right, we got to travel just a little bit now. So I'm not supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to run equipment on the streets. But so far, nobody's ever said anything, and we'll keep it. We'll keep it a secret on YouTube. There is one cop where I am. He's super bad. Like he will write you a ticket for absolutely everything. I had a friend. He got caught right up the street. He was driving a wheel loader, and they gave him a big fat ticket. And it was in the middle of a snowstorm, just like this. They didn't give him no break or anything. That's right. That's right, Travis. <laughs> I agree. You know what? Uh, a city plow truck's in my way. I'm going to go this way. I got driveways in both directions. It doesn't really matter which way I go. I am lit up behind me. I got a hazard light and a spotlight so they can see me. And it's just short distances, so it's not that big of a deal. If I ever get creamed, that's going to be a problem, but hopefully that won't happen.
right, this driveway right here is rough. Meaning there's potholes, it's really bad. What's up, Fall River? Wyatt's Farming Videos, thanks for watching. This is one thing I like about skid steer is the ability to just swing them around. You can't do this with a pickup truck. So I just plowed that whole driveway. How long did that take? I mean, less than a minute. And that wasn't a tiny driveway. I mean, that's a good sized driveway. Let me clean that windshield for you. Very, very easy. Next. Uh, the blade is 10 feet, the straight part of the blade is 10 feet, and then the wings are about a foot each on either side, so you, so you got about 12 feet to work with, which is big. But this is a large frame skid steer, so it handles it pretty easily, and unless you get into some really deep or really heavy snow. What's up, Alejandro, Elizabeth, husband? I did not hear anything back from the ATV, please. So I think I'm in the clear as far as paying anything extra on that. All right, that's another one. Next. Do a little back dragging on this one. What's up, Joshua? Is Tino coming back? Yes, he is. I talked to him about a week ago. We sat down and uh, we came to an agreement and he's going to work full time this year. He's going to be a regular full time employee. He's going to be showing up to the yard with the rest of the guys. I told him, you know, if you're going to be a full-time employee, you got to be just like everybody else. Show up to the yard every day at 6.30 and then go from there. So, yes, he is coming back. Ryan, you should kickbox more. Yeah, right. I haven't kickboxed for over a decade. And I'm a lot bigger than I used to be. So, for exercise or maybe some sparring, sure, but... I'm 45 years old, like fighting is completely out of the question. Plus kickboxing or boxing, it's extremely dangerous. If you have a big family, I definitely would stay away from it. <laughs> Some of you guys are pretty funny. Can't read your comments, but they're funny. I can't get up in there. That's too tight from there to the grass. I'm not even going to try. It's not worth taking a risk. You hit a car and you got an insurance claim, and it's a lot of time, and it's a pain. And it's just not worth it. I prefer to have somebody get mad at me and smash their car. All right, so I did four driveways on this block. Now I'm going to go up and I got a really huge driveway to do now. Wow, this is bouncy. 
hit a car and the homeowner will say, easy money. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, I just missed something. Let me go back. No, I can't go back. Thank you, Charles. Appreciate that. Obviously, I got to pay attention, guys, so you can only catch a comment here and there, but I'm doing my best. Here we are back on the road again. Hoping not to cause an accident. We're good. We're good. There's nobody right behind me. Not in my lane, anyway. You're in the far lane, as you can see. We're good. All right, this driveway is enormous, and it's gravel, and it's bouncy. Thankfully, there's not a lot of snow on it right now. But this one goes way back. See, I don't show everything I do on the videos. <clears throat> it just gets to be too much. I mean, show, show some stuff here and there, and that's enough. What's up, Cliff? Shout out. You called me mate, so I assume you're from Australia. St. Saint, Saint Francis is an ice sheet right now, so St. Francis is just uh, just southeast of here. It's a small town, and he said it's just pure ice. That's why I feel like really lucky right now that we're getting the snow, because we're right on the edge of where it would be freezing rain, and this could be a total disaster. Uh, Bugs is not on Brady right now. He will be later. I already talked to him on the phone. He's ready to go. Jade is uh, Jade is 100% ready. She's got a coat on. My little salting buddy. This is just so hard to plow. I'm just jumping everywhere. It's terrible. Oh, it's just terrible. And the stone, it's like loose stone. So when you drop your plow all the way, it just starts rolling the stones. Try to angle it this way. Oh, that didn't help. Ah, this is bad. I hate this driveway. I hate following this driveway. Somebody asked if I still have a relationship with Junior. Yes, I do. We've been talking. We've been talking almost every day. He's a good kid. Charles Lynch. I didn't see what you saw, but thanks for watching. Canada, what's up? All right, let me get up here by these cars. And I'm going to call this good enough for now. Oh, this thing is... Ugh. All right, that's all they're getting on this driveway. That is enough of that. Wow. Cletus McFarland event? Yeah, that would be really cool. Unfortunately, I'm a very small YouTuber compared to those guys. I mean, those guys are in the millions. They're, like, super famous. They, would, they wouldn't know who I was. I don't know if you see a running the crown vix but man, it looks kind of dangerous those guys are out there just banging the last one it was raining so they're sliding all over smashing into each other that was wild i don't think that's what cletus was hoping for i don't think it rains a lot there in the winter but he got rain it was fun to watch all these guys were smashing All right, let's see. Make a part two of the snowman? Yeah, I should. That was fun. That little short video I made when I was just starting to make videos where I smashed the snowman with the F-350 and broke my windshield in the process like 300 bucks or something like that i think if i remember correctly so we got a little bit more traveling to do now to go all the way around all right i'm going to stop and say hi again if 
title this thing down. All right, there we go. Dan the man. Actually, I just saw Dan yesterday. What's up, Ireland? Clearly family? Man, I got to take this CPAR off for a second. It is too hot in here. There we go. Rockford, Illinois. I wonder if you guys are getting on. Driveway giveaway at a million. Wow, a million is a long time from now. <laughs> I'm not really even thinking about that. No way. I'm not shaving my beard at 300000 Not a chance. My wife does not like when I, I shaved once when I was I was acting in a skit and I was trying to mock somebody else. I was trying to look like them. I shaved my beard, and my wife did not like that at all. So I'm not going to be lonely until it grows back. Sorry. Christian from Australia. Are you getting a diesel mechanic? I mean... At some point, I would like to get a mechanic. It can't just be a diesel mechanic because whoever I get has got to be capable of working on, you know, like performance vehicles too. I'm serious about that. I mean, I want to do it. What's up, Anthony from Hartford? Alan from Madison? How do you price plowing a driveway? I mentioned this before, but I don't really plow driveways. All these driveways that you see me doing are – they're all owned by the same owner. So, well, a few different owners. So they are commercial. So, you know, you get a price break when you have several driveways. What's up, Rhode Island? Fishing Expo? Uh, probably not. I got a lot of stuff going on. Apologize. Do you also do the walkways? Yes. I was talking about that, and then I got distracted when I left the church there. So the city sidewalks here... The, the city doesn't pay me for those. Whosoever's building or property is, you know, adjacent to the city sidewalk. Thank you, Dan. That's, man, unbelievable. Um, whoever's property is adjacent to the city sidewalk, they're responsible for having somebody clear it. The city does not clear your sidewalks here. You are completely responsible. And if you don't have them cleared within 24 hours, they can find you. So, And also you're liable. Like, you know, somebody were to slip and fall on your city sidewalks, you could get sued for that. Zignigo, yeah, when I was a kid, I, I when I was working for a company, I used to pour with Zignigo with them. Chicago only got rain. Yeah, you guys got lucky. You guys were right on the edge of freezing rain, though. That would have been a mess. A mess. How long does it take to plow? One site, well, obviously, it, it really depends on the size of the site. Uh, I'm not a pro fighter. I never, I never went pro. So I got up to the, I got up to the skill level where I could have become a pro, uh, but I was starting to have kids and a family, and that was just the end of it. My wife was like, no, and I was like, yeah, you're probably right. So that's when I stopped fighting. I never became a pro. What's up, Canada? Yeah, driveways, uh, Chobie money, they're pretty fast in the skid steer, man. You got a 12-foot plow, very maneuverable machine, not a lot of snow. As you can see, there's just a couple inches right now, so it's pretty It's pretty fast. Ugh. All right. So if I see somebody like over and over asking the same question a million times every five comments, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Poured some concrete today. Not here. You're done flint here plowing the same snow in Michigan. Yeah, it's a giant storm. It's all the way across several states. Do you hate Milwaukee weather? No. Um, I like the seasons. I really do. Get back to work. It's probably a good idea. I like the seasons. I look forward to fall every summer when it's hot. I'm always looking for the end. Some cooler weather. North Detroit, no snow. 25 to 100 for a driveway. Yeah, that's probably about right. It all depends on the size, obviously. Uh, right now, I only got a couple inches, but it's not anywhere near done. Like I said, it's going to be another day and a half. All right, I'm going to take back off and keep going. 
guys can come and go as you want. I'm going to stay on for a while. Obviously, you guys aren't going to stay on the whole time, but pop in and out as you want. I'm going to keep it on, though. Let me clear that up for you. All right. Warmer days ahead. Yes, sir. Oh, this is so bouncy. This driveway is shot. All right, we're taking a road trip again. This one's a little bit longer. Hitting the beach soon? No. Next winter, I do want to go and finally see the ocean. I would love to. I would love to see the ocean the first time with my wife, honestly. So, I'd like to plan a trip next winter with her. are getting a little bit older now we had you know we had little kids so it's hard for her to get away with me but now the kids are growing up a little bit more so we're gonna have more time that we can spend together which will be nice it's just hard to travel when you have a really young family don't drink the salt water yeah no kidding equipment I'm not sure what you're talking about uh, the few things that I have left probably are sold already Benny what's going on thank you appreciate that Los Angeles a little guy yeah Daniel can hold on, on the fort man he's a little hard worker I'll tell you He'll just be out there all day shoveling snow, and he don't care. He'll come in, his little hands will be frozen. He ain't coming in until the job's done, or his mom calls him in. Which weather app do you use? Uh, I just use a local, honestly, I just use a local weather station app, Fox 6. That's the wrong street. Got a little distracted. I was reading the comments. What's up, Ireland? San Diego sounds nice. If I do a trip with my wife, believe me, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right. Yeah, Daniel is a beast, man. He's really smart too. Like he's a sharp, sharp kid. He just gets stuff. Hit the end of my driveway. <laughs> Where am I coming up on it? I doubt it. All right. We got to go down this street. I got one driveway here. Snowing in Utah. All right. I got to turn the heat back up a little bit. I'm losing my visibility. Charleston, South Carolina. Go fishing. Man, that's probably something we would do. When we went on our honeymoon, my wife and I, we went to uh, Door County, and we actually did take a charter boat and go fishing. It was a lot of fun. All right. So there's kind of a car in the way, but I can get by, so we're good. Get up as close to the garage door as I feel comfortable. Ah. Got to be careful. It's slippery here, and I did not want to slip into this car. I'm on a decline right now. Still snow. Happy about that. Holland, what's going on? Have you ever done the wrong house? Uh, no. <laughs> I've never done the wrong house. Although the last time we were plowing, if you watched the video that I put out this morning, Boggs was up on some city sidewalks that have nothing to do with what I plow. He was completely across the street. I thought it was funny. 
I mean, not a big deal. I'm sure those guys are happy about it, but I was laughing. A whole inch in Washington. Uh, I used to have a four-wheeler with a plow. Oh, well, I got the grass a little bit. See that? Try to get by the car. What are you going to do? Didn't really tear it up, though, thankfully. Uh, I've had four-wheelers with plows before, and they're pretty good in most situations, but they definitely have limitations. Like this super wet snow, when this starts to build up and then the city comes through and throws it over onto the city sidewalk, a four-wheeler just won't get through it. Like I said, most of the time they can, but uh, the skid steer that I have, the S130, that thing will get through absolutely anything. I think I'm losing uh, losing my signal. I'm losing your comments. There we go. They're back. Never mind. Never mind. So we got another road trip now. I don't know how many driveways that's been. Several. Six or so. I used to do a lot of mower in this neighborhood, but I, start, I started to drop them. Like, driveways just aren't my favorite. So I just started to tell people no. There was a couple guys that didn't pay. So that made it real easy to tell them no the next time. All right, let me take this off. Bugs is a giver. Yeah, he is, man. Bugs is generous. He's always bringing us, like, vegetables from his garden, eggs. He'll bring us beef, jerky, all kinds of stuff. He's always thinking of other people, which... To me, that's a uh, that's pretty cool. What's up, San Diego? What's up, Squid? How much is a driveway to plow? Probably like I don't know. I wouldn't do a driveway for under forty bucks. I don't care what size it is. If they want to pay less than that. I'll just let them shovel it themselves. If somebody comes out and says, oh, can you do my driveway? Like, I'll do it. I'm not going to tell people no. But I'm not looking to get driveways, put it that way. And that does happen, especially the big snowstorms. The neighbors will be all, all here like, hey, waving you down and stuff. Florida, ready for spring? No, I am not ready for spring. Not yet. All right, I'm going to let this minivan do his thing. Go ahead, buddy. Bugs is a top G. Top G sitting in prison right now in Romania, so. What's up, England? 68 in Arkansas. Man. New York, less than an inch. All right, that guy's out of the way. It's snowing pretty good right now. Uh, no track skid steer does, does not work better in the snow than a wheeled machine. Wheels are way better. Thank you, Christopher. Appreciate that. That's why I'll never sell these and get track machine. I, that's why I don't use the New Holland is because it, it's just not as good in the winter. Way, way better in the summer, though. Eric's my favorite. Everybody has their own favorite, I guess. All right, I gotta turn the heat up more. Yeah, it's coming down pretty good. All right, so you guys can't see everything from here, but I do lots of condos. There's like 30 or 32 driveways right here. I'm going to start plowing these in just a minute. Let's say what's going on for a second here. Oh, there we go. What happened with Bugs? I don't know what you're saying. Nothing happened with Bugs. Bugs is all good. He'll be here later. Bring some snow here, please. I don't even know where you're at. Why don't you employ the rest of the crew for the winter? Well, I just don't have work for everybody, and I don't want to get, I haven't wanted to get real deep into snow plowing. We used to snow plow 
a lot, lot more. It gets to be too much, man. I get stressed in the summer, and then if I stress myself all winter, I get burned out. So that's why I don't go crazy with the snow plowing anymore. I like to take it easy. Like you can see, it's pretty relaxing for me. Like I can keep up with everything. Uh, once there's a final cleanup, I just need one guy to help me uh, in the truck or another skid steer. And then I have college kids that do all my sidewalks. And that's really all I want to do, honestly. Did you build a form truck from scratch? Almost. So I bought the we bought the form truck as a flatbed. And then from the flatbed, I built everything custom, yes. My brother helped me with it. He designed it, and I actually did all the welding and fab work. <clears throat> Detroit freezing rain. Man, I'm hoping we don't get that here. We do salt the sidewalks. The college kids do all that for me. Yes, sir. I do plowing for the state. I got a lot of respect for the, the county and state snowplow drivers around here. They drive the big wing plows. And, uh, man, they just come right down the edge of the curbs perfectly. A lot of the guys have some crazy skills with those trucks i come down the like when there's a snowstorm because i'll do this road that i'm sitting on and uh i'm like feeling around for the curb and those guys just fly down the curb edge i would hit the curb for sure uh class a is what i was looking for i think the positions probably filled already i had about six or seven people interested at five and then i had two more today actually but i think i have somebody i am not pentecostal i'm a baptist Greek salad, no olives. Yep, that's right. B-52s, baby. Tino is coming back. I mentioned that already. He's going to be a full-time employee with us this year. Uh, when will the truck be done? I don't know which one you're talking about. There goes Mike. I don't know if you saw. Oh, you didn't see him. I got the... Mike's doing the sidewalks with his ATV right now. He just drove by freezing rain in East Michigan. It's crazy. Like if you look at the radar right now, there's like really sharp defined lines where the snow is changing over and they're like straight lines. It's really weird. Mike's here. Yeah, Travis, he is here. He does, you know, before I sold everything to Mike, the, the snow plowing, uh, I did all this. So there's two, there's one like smaller, comp, medium sized complex, and then there's a big complex. So I used to do all that, but Mike does those now. And then there's a couple other locations not here uh, that I sold as well. So he goes off and does those. There he is. There he is. Let me see if I get him. We'll say hi to Mike. Hey! What's up? <laughs> I'm live on YouTube. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Yeah? I just want to get the stuff done before it gets too heavy for the four-wheeler. And I was just saying that, man. Like, if it gets too, too much, the four-wheeler is going to be stuck. Yeah. And you're going to get frustrated. So, you got to back up and ram it, back yeah. up and ram it. So. Well, I'd rather be a little cold and wet right now than try to struggle later when I'm tired. Yeah. So. It's coming down, man. Yeah. If it's If it stays like this, we're going to get a lot. Yeah, I know. It's, I it's just, not stopping anytime soon. No, I just plowed all my pumpkin on YouTube until I did it. Anyway. I know, I know. So that's yes. why I was like, well, I, I'm going to go take care of this really quick before it gets bad. Exactly. <laughs> all right, cool, man. I'm jumping back all in. Right, we'll see yeah, I'll talk to you later. Woo, it's nasty out. Yeah, it's coming down hard. It's not like white out hard, but it's hard enough. All right, let me put this thing back. There we go. All right, I'm going to start doing these sidewalks. Like I said, you guys can come and go as you want. Pop in, pop back out. But I'm going to keep it on, keep it live, and just keep going. Start messing with all these driveways. Southern California, yeah, that sounds nice right now. All right, let's go. <laughs> that was a funny comment. Live streaming. Seems like we're watching a video from 2008. Like, bad quality. Yeah, you're right about that. All right. I don't try to get crazy close to the garage doors. I'll leave a foot. 
no sense of risking it. And then if you slide a little bit, you know, you're not going to hit the garage door. Uh, yes, I am getting the new t dump truck box. I bought it a long time ago. It, he just had to, you know, you custom order them, which takes months. But as soon as it comes in, he's going to put it on. Yes. It'll be a brand new box on the Mac this year. So the Mac will be looking pretty sharp. I'm going to wrap the uh, F-350 this winter. The form truck is there getting wrapped now. It should be done soon. Try to get everything nice, you know, for the summer. Eddie Munster, what's going on? Thanks for watching. Appreciate that. See this stuff here, I'll take all the way across the street. Which is another thing that you're not supposed to do. Highly illegal. Falling snow all the way across the street. But guess who does not care? I've actually had the city guy come by when I was actively pushing snow. And he did not care. He gave me the thumbs up. They don't care. As long as you don't leave it in the street. Some people just snow blow their snow and just snow blow right into the road. After the city comes through and just leaves a mess. I mean, that ain't right. Come on. Come on. What's up, Boston, Massachusetts? Hunter 34. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching. It's probably going to get you guys dizzy. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of turning around here with these driveways. And then this road that you... Oh. Alright, sorry about that. I just hit something and it shook the phone right off the stand, so apologize for that. It's a sewer cap or something right there. Let me adjust that a little bit. That should be good. No, it wasn't the curb. There's like a little, there's a, like a little water box, a steel water box. I've hit it before. One of these days, I'll just rip it off. Thing was there, but I still smashed it. Carelessness, as these people would say, these condo folks are. I mean, I'm not going to talk bad about them, but the the fact is that they are very picky. Like they want their stuff done nice, and if you don't do it nice, they will let you know every time. <laughs> Back break this right here, and then what I do is I come up and turn around and push it all back out. Each driveway takes about a minute or so, and then you got to do the roads. Some driveways are bigger, they take longer than that, but smaller driveways take about a minute, I would say, if I had to guess. I guess we could time it. Landmark creations, condo Karens, yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but yeah, there are some. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to group them all together because there's some like super cool people that live in here, but there are a few Karens. Anytime you get a, like a board, like a condo or a homeowners association, you get a board together, it just seems to be such a nightmare. Like the guy that lives in that unit right there. Super, super cool guy. I love that guy. Into the pond. No. Yeah, the pond. The pond is right there. Not going to be sliding into that today. The snow is coming down. This is going to build up. This is going to be more of a snowstorm than I thought. 
I think they were off just a little bit where they thought the ice was going to be and where the snow was going to be. If it keeps like if it keeps going like this all night, we'll get a foot of snow. All you can do is wait now. Run from combos like the plague. Well, I would say this. If you write your contract properly and have the right conversation beforehand, it's not terrible. So what I do is you got to charge a lot of money, too. Guys are charging, you know, if they're giving discounts, you don't want nothing to do with it. I really haven't had that much trouble here, honestly. Not in the winter. They were more picky in the summer than the, than the winter. With the lawn, they just wanted it, like, manicured perfectly. There was an older gentleman. He doesn't live here anymore, so I can talk about him. I don't even know if he's alive anymore because he was ancient back then. But I sprayed for weeds, and two days later, he writes me an email that the weeds aren't totally dead yet. I think he thought once you spray weeds, they die like overnight and they all disappear. I was like, come on. Yeah, the gutter downspouts. Right. I'll show you the one. That's right next door to where I am right now, believe it or not. I apologize, I can't read too many comments as I'm spinning around here. I gotta sort of kind of pay attention. There it is right there. There's the smash gutter downspout extension. All right, you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up a couple more driveways here. I think I'm going to turn the camera off. My battery's actually getting low, and I need to save some for later. And I don't have a charger in here. So, a couple more minutes. And I'll turn it around and say goodbye to everybody. One last shout out. Appreciate everybody that hopped on. Even though there are just a handful of knuckleheads in the comment section. Overall, I think the comment section at Victory is one of the best. There's troublemakers everywhere, but it's really not that bad. I'll finish up this last one. I think I just said that on the last one. But one more. And again, I'm not trying to get these perfect right now. I'm just trying to get it to where people come home from work. They're not mad at me. Push us out of here, and then I'll say goodbye. How do you get subscribers? <laughs> I suppose you just started a new channel. Um, just make really good videos and the algorithm will work for you. There's no secrets. There's no secrets to YouTube. It's just making good videos that people are interested in. Thank you very much, Craig. Living on three acres. I just answered your question. All right, guys. Will. Yes, sir. What's up, dude? Dishy, Hunter, Nigel, Gary, Garrett. All right, guys, Jose. It was nice spending a little bit of time with you. I got a long night ahead of me. I'm going to make a video of this, <clears throat> of the day and the night and tomorrow. Probably put them all together in one day. 
but I'm in for the long haul on this one. All right, guys, it's been a while. It was it over an hour? So pretty good. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, if you can remember, leave a comment on the next video um, about what I should do for the giveaway. So 300,000 subscribers were coming up. I mentioned this earlier. I'm sure it's probably all new people now, but uh, for the first 100 and 200,000, I did something special for my guys. For the 300, I want to do something special for you guys, for the audience, because obviously, you know, without you guys, this would be nothing at all. So, all right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Adios.